Okay, we're looking at the 311 hive. We've removed the, uh, the food source for them. The honey super has been pulled aside, and right now we're just looking at the brood chamber and the tin can there on top. That little package is uh, a product called Apigard. It's basically formic acid, which is something the bees make. And the purpose of this is to help fight any kind of an infestation of varroa mites, which is one of the big things that tends to destroy honey beehives. So we actually pulled our bottom board out. It's a little piece of corrugated plastic that serves as a, uh, a place to capture the stuff that falls out of the hive. And uh, this treatment here, which has been in the hive for two weeks, produced probably hundreds of thousands of uh, varroa mite carcasses. And so the next part of the treatment is doing identically what we have here, which is just putting out another tin uh, with the formic acid, the, uh, the uh, apigard. And uh, that's about it. And uh, what you're looking at there is a little spacer that keeps the uh, top box with the honey and the brood chamber separate. And we use that as a spacer so we can actually put this thing in there. And then the other ones are just these guys here. And it's just like opening up a container. It seems to be a really effective product, at least from our personal experiences. Uh, one thing you want to make sure you do when you're using the Sapigard tins is directions will say to peel all of the foil off with the exception of one corner. Um, I think the purpose of this is to just kind of keep it contained and get any uh, extra additional medicine that's on that foil um, to be used as well as what is in the tin. So all you really have to do is make sure your brood chamber is clear, um, pull all the foil off with the exception of that one corner lay it down flat, make sure your spacer is on, and that's pretty much it. We'll leave it on for two weeks, um, and then that should be good to go for the winter. Um, we'll do it once again in the spring uh, with one dose per hive for two weeks and then a second dose per hive for two weeks. And that's how you medicate the hives. Um, we do this so the varroa mites do not get um, overpopulated and pretty much um, becomes very detrimental to the colony. So that's using medicine for the Apigard, and hopefully this will work out well.